Well, you know, so I said, look, I'll fight the guy. Let's do it. So then I actually trained for that fight. But training for a fight and being disciplined for a fight are two different things. I mean, I'm having sex right before the fight. That's stupid as hell. You don't do stuff like that. And that was my warm up. I said, I'm going to warm up by doing what I was doing. <laughs> that, to me, I'll be honest with you. That was raw, calm, and I deserved to get knocked out. Mm. I, I deserved to get knocked out that fight. So, so how did the fight play out? I mean, you was winning before that. First, and you were taking First round, easy. I saw everything. He didn't feel strong. He had a T-shirt on. I'm like, oh, this guy's going to get it. I took him down at will. Um, the immaturity dropping in hands. And I kept hearing him go high, low, high, low. I heard it. But then the second round, I was done, bro. I was gassed. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take him down. And I, I, I hesitated. And that hesitation, when I was stopping, I came back. He was throwing a kick right on the jaw. I go down. I twist my finger around. I fell on my finger. I'm out. I'm pissed off. I'm trying to steal fight. They were like, no, 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 no. The fight's over. I'm like, no, no, it's not over. And then, you know, of course, all the dumb shit I was saying in between that. And uh, I went and trained with Chris. I was going to go kill Chris. <laughs> Let me tell you what I did. I found out where he lived. I found out his school. I was going to go kill him because he beat me. And I, I kept landing in bed. I remember I was like, it's I, never lost. I never lost. You know what I mean? I'm landing in the bed and I'm like, I, there's no way this guy was better than me. So I set up a training with just me and him. And I was like, you know what? I beat his ass. And I realized, you know what? You know, you got to do things a little different. But the fact that I was going to kill him, nobody knew that. Only one person knew. And when I got all that information, I, I didn't trust that person to tell. And I showed him I had a gun with a silencer on it. And I showed it to him and he says, you really going to kill somebody because you lost? And I kept remembering him saying that. And I was like, yeah, that's some coward shit. That's a, that's a cowardly man. I said, you judge a champ, you judge a man on his defeats, not his victories. So how do I want to be seen? And it, like, I've always had to be my own subconscious. 